Sage here from Vicalize Online Consultant and welcome to the Vicalize family. We are so happy to have you here and looking forward to a great collaboration. But for today's video, I'm going to walk you through on how we can properly set up your account, like what are the important steps that we need in order for us to successfully set up everything that you need and we can proceed to your marketing process. So first off, make sure that you bookmark this page, okay? so that it'll be easier for you to um, locate this videos, um, all the training videos that you need, uh, if ever that you feel stuck or you feel that you need something for reference, so make sure to bookmark this page, okay? All right, Great. so first off, watch the video of Vico right here, which you can find on the very top part of this page. Once you're done, then we're gonna go to the fun part of this process. All right, so next would be filling out your own boarding form. So if you click on this button right here, it will redirect you to a page where you can see another video. So if you can watch that, and the very important thing would be you filling out this form because this is very essential for us to get started with your marketing campaigns, okay? So this is very self-explanatory, but if you think that you still need clarification with these things, just send us a message, okay? Next would be granting us the access to our Facebook Ads Manager. So if you click on this button, it will redirect you to our step-by-step -step video process in order for you to add our team to your Facebook Ads Manager. But in case that you don't have an Ads Manager set up yet, you can click on this link and make sure to create an account. Also, do not forget to add the right emails for us to successfully be part and access your ads manager. So these are going to be the two emails that you need to add, which is the vicos at gmail.com and then vico.kang at gmail.com. So everything is laid out in here, but you, if you think that you're still stuck or you have further questions, just let us know. Okay, next, it's also important that you meet us or be part of our communication channel, which is in Slack. So if you click on the bottom right here, it will redirect you to a video um, showing you on how you can create your own account. But if you do have an existing account with Slack, just click on this link, it, it will redirect you to our Slack channel. So the good thing about joining our Slack channel, because this will be our preferred communication method, um, this will be our easiest way of communicating with each other. Also, our internal team is here. So if you have any questions, so it'll be easier for us to respond to you in a timely manner. All right, so first off, all you need to do is check your email and look for an email sent from Vicalize's team and contact at vicalize.com. So the reason why you have two separate emails is that they have different like plugin information and take note that once you log in, it's just gonna be a one-time login. Just make sure that you save or bookmark the login page so that you can have easy access to it. So the first email would be from Vicalize's team. So this is what you're gonna see, like congratulations your name you just made the best decision this year and right below you can see the instructions a couple of instructions that you might want to check and you can find here your login to the crm so you have the okay CRM. next would be logging into our crm of course so if you click on this link it will redirect you to a signing page where you need to log in using your email and this default password which is at sharing one two three all right, so now that you're logged in, you have the option to change your password, of course, for something that is easier for you to remember. So if you can just scroll down to, on the left side menu, you can see settings, and then team management. So now you will see here your name, and if you click edit, click user info, and on the password field, you can um, change your password to whatever you desire. So take note that you have to include a capital letter, a character, in, or a phone, I'm sorry, or a number, okay? And then just hit save. 
You also have the ability to add an employee, a staff member, or a team member to, to your account. So all you need to do is to fill out their information right here, which is first name, last name, email, and then a password. So it's up to you if you wanted to provide them a default password. And then if you scroll down here on the user roles, you also have the ability to choose whether you're, you're just going to give them a user access or an admin access. So basically, if you give them an admin access, they can uh, they have no limit in terms of the, the access. But if it's user role, it's just going to be a limited access and just hit save. So next off would be logging into your client portal. So the login for your client portal would be located on your email, which I showed to you a while ago. So if you can use that credentials, just click on this link and then use those credentials for you to log in and you're all set. All right, so next would be getting your SMS credits or signing up for a Twilio account. So we need this one in order for us to start sending SMS to your clients. If you can click on this link, it will show you a uh, step-by-step -step process as well on how you can set up your Twilio account. So if you click on this link, it will redirect you to the Twilio page where you can um, sign up for an account. But going back to this page right here. So um, if you're in Australia, you really have to verify your address and you would be needing to submit a couple of documents in order for you to get a number. But if you're in USA, you don't have to do this, okay? Once you're done and you successfully uh, signed up for a Twilio account, make sure that you have filled out this form right here. So make sure your name and email are the same as the one that you registered with us. All right, just going back to the dashboard once you're logged in. So as you can see here, dashboard, so it's like a bird's eye view of your activity on your account, okay? Um, conversations tab would be showing all of your conversations with your customers, your replies, their messages to you. On the opportunities tab, this serves as your pipeline, so you can see different lead stages. You can monitor on which stage your customers are currently in, and you can um, determine your next steps from there. Also, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here client portal. So this is the portal that you have signed up a while ago. So the good thing is that you only need to sign up once and you can access it from your account. We also have our Facebook community, our Facebook group. So if you wanna join us, we are also dropping some um, good values in there on something that can help you with your marketing process as well. So if you just wanna say hi, that would be awesome. We also have our support help test just in case that you need um, assistance. But then again, I highly recommend that you message us on Slack or book a call with us because that's going to be the faster way to get your concerned result. Okay, so last but not the least, if you think that you are stuck at some point, you need further help from us, you need further assistance, just book a call with us. You can find here um two calendars so first off would be would be vehicles calendar and the second one would be my calendar so any technical questions should be referred to me if you feel that you're stuck at some technical side of things the best person to go to would be me so just book the most convenient time for you and i'd be happy to help you out all right so if you think that you are all set then i'd be seeing and talking to you on slack and again, welcome and thank you for being here. Talk soon.